So today what I have is an Eastman T486. If you're not familiar with Eastman, they're from China and they use really high quality components in building their guitars. Most of the guitars are in the Gibson style, 335, Les Pauls, those kinds of things. This guitar has been on loan to me from a friend of mine. Thank you, Johnny. And I figured I'd spend a few minutes kind of talking about how I like it, uh, what I don't like about it, how, and we'll do some sound samples as well. So this guitar in terms of specs, you've got a bone nut, you've got an ebony fretboard, you've got a very well done binding, beautiful inlays, the fretwork is excellent. These medium jumbo frets are really nice. You've got a Goto manufactured bridge, CTS pots, a Switchcraft switch. You've got a maple veneer front and back. Overall, the fit and finish on this guitar is excellent. And it plays really nice. But let's talk about the pickups. These are Seymour Duncan pickups. You've got a 59 in the bridge and a jazz in the neck. And I'm gonna vent here for a minute. And if you wanna skip this and move on to how the guitar sounds, feel free to do so. I'm really tired of, seems like every guitar manufacturer, at least in this price range, so in that kind of upper import price range, 750 to 1500, that range, it seems like almost all of them are using Seymour Duncan pickups and the same Seymour Duncan pickups. I'm really tired of it. You know, it's the 59, it's the jazz. I think I've owned three guitars that have the jazz in the neck. Uh, sometimes you get a JB or every once in a while they've got a custom in there. I mean, whether it's Charvel or Jackson or ESP or Yamaha or D'Angelico or Godin, it's like all of them are using Seymour Duncan pickups. None of them are making their own pickups. And I think it just starts to make all the guitars sound the same. So what's the difference between this and a D'Angelico? I mean, they're basically both copying Gibsons and they're both putting Seymour Duncan pickups in. I think the D'Angelico instead of the 59 uses the JB. But for the most part, they're the same guitar and they're going to sound the same. And it's, I just wonder what the difference is. Why not make your own pickups? And I'm going to give some props here to PRS, at least on all their models, they make their own pickups and they invest in trying to make good pickups. Whereas the DGT or the Silver Sky, they do research and design around their pickups and invest in that as much as they invest in their guitars. And I really wish that other guitar manufacturers would do the same. They just think that, well, I just slap these components together and then I throw in some Seymour Duncan pickups and I'm good to go. I don't know. It's just, I'm getting bored with it. I'm ready for guitar manufacturers to spend some more time making their own pickups because the pickups are a huge part of how a guitar sounds. And if they all use the same pickups, they're all going to sound the same. So anyway, I'm going to get off that soapbox now and we'll get on to how this guitar sounds. But I just had to mention that. Okay, for these sound samples, I'm using my Quad Cortex. I'm using a Tone King Imperial capture that comes with the device from Neural DSP. I've got most of the ambience off, just a little bit of reverb on the end to keep it from being too dry. But mostly I want you to be able to hear the guitar. So let's start on the clean tone and we're on the neck pickup. Mm -hmm. So a nice big warm sound, very clear. I mean, typical of the Seymour Duncan jazz. Let's try the middle position on the clean tone. <laughs> the bridge. So 
So most of the tones work really nice. I'm not a huge fan of the 59 in the bridge. I'd rather see the 59 in the neck, honestly, but it sounds pretty good. Let's move on to a little more gain, nothing too much, but how's this? <laughs> Try the middle position. more gain. So let's kick it with some overdrive in front of that. So overall, the guitar sounds good. I'm not a huge fan of the 59 in the bridge. I think I'd rather see the 59 in the neck than the jazz. But the jazz always sounds good in the neck. It always does pretty well. So my earlier rant aside, I don't think Seymour Duncan pickups are bad. I don't think they're that great either. I think they're good. Um, but I really don't like the 59 in this guitar. I'm not liking that bridge sound. I think it's a little too harsh for me. I'd rather hear something a little smoother, I think, in that uh, position. If you're interested in this guitar, I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.